All right, so primer seems dry. I'm gonna try to use the almost empty can. See if I can get just a little more paint out of this. Very little extra paint out of it. All right, that one's empty. Time for the less empty one. Much better. Just comparing the two, because I obviously want them to kind of be the same color and need Several more coats, I think, to make that work out. I don't want to overdo it, though. Um, obviously, I mean, this has instructions to bloody blah blah. Doesn't actually say how long you should wait between coats. No, allow paint to dry 10 minutes between coats and 30 minutes before applying a clear coat. Okay, well, it's been like not 10 minutes. Maybe I can put a little bit more on. I tend to do really light coats, which I know isn't how it's supposed to be done. I'm not sure if you can hear all this noise in the background. Someone's doing some construction outside my window, so... Alright, I think that's as much as I'm comfortable doing, maybe, as I put a little bit more on. Because ideally I kind of don't want to have to wait to apply another coat. Alright, I gotta stop there. If I do any more it's gonna start sagging, I think. But, I'd say the color pretty much matches now. So I'm going to let this sit for probably, I don't know, 30 minutes. And then I'm going to try pulling the tape off and hopefully it's worked out. So we will see then. Okay, so things feel dry enough to me. Uh, I don't want to leave the tape on too long because sometimes masking tape can be weird like that. If you leave it on, it ends up really adhering to stuff. So, let's open this uh, up. So far, so good. Looks like I'm lucky and the masking tape is leaving residue instead of pulling paint. I mean, if I was, ooh, that's a lot of residue. Oh no. 
Okay, so there have been some issues. Some of the gold paint decided it was just going to come along for the ride. And it looks like it leaked down a little bit too. I have not been having a lot of luck on this piece. So the big question is, what do I want to do about that? This residue... I can probably clean that off with like some alcohol or something like that. Um, but the part that's got me disheartened is here. You can see it's pulled away some of the paint that I just put down. Possibly because I didn't wait long enough. Possibly because I'm just unlucky. So I think what I'm going to do is put this tape here again. Probably what I'll do next time is I'll get actual painter's tape. It works a little better than just masking tape. Masking tape sometimes is just too sticky, and other times it's not sticky enough. Uh, now I'm going to try something risky here. I just want to spray some paint just there, so I'm wondering... Uh, why don't I hedge my bets just a little? I'm not gonna do a whole nother thing, but... Let's mitigate the potential disaster here. So that should keep most of the stuff off. I guess you guys can't really see because I've got it oriented for me, not for the camera, but... It is what it is. Well, that might work. Just fan it a bit. I don't think that's actually going to do anything. Because I probably want to put a couple more squirts of paint on there. Yeah, that's probably too much paint already. Alright, so I'm going to leave that. Maybe I will leave it for longer than like half an hour, maybe overnight or something. Just to, well, I don't want to leave it overnight because then the masking tape's going to do something weird. Uh, it's already kind of want to leave some sticky bits behind. All in all, I don't know. I don't know which one I'm happier with or less happy with. Like, the one I'm working on or, or this one. This one's got a smoother seeming surface, but it's got its own issues as well. Either way, I always have the option of saying, screw it, 
getting the plastic stuff, coating it and sanding it properly because I've got the shape and everything. It's just that and the, the overall finish. So I'm going to let that dry and we'll be back. All right, let's see if I've got some better success this time. Feels like it's dried, but I've been fooled before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of metal and just score along the edge. Or try to. I don't have a very steady hand apparently. Alright, this can come off. Okay, well, slightly better luck that time. Uh, again, I should have used painter's tape, because if you look, you can see, it's a bit dark, but you can see it's not uh, quite kept all the paint off. And obviously the bottom is still unfinished, but like I said, I'm going to get some foam stuff to deal with that. It's actually a bit of overspray and whatnot as well. But I'm probably going to put some kind of a clear coat on this. I'm trying not to worry too much. I can always start from scratch, like finish-wise, if I really, really am truly displeased. So I think what I'm going to do where it's kind of bled through is just use a touch-up pen. I think I had one. What color is this? Universal Black. Okay, well that's not the one. I must have it somewhere else. Anyways, um, why don't I get something to wipe up this extra glue stuff and something to touch that up and I'll be back. Alright, let's see if I can have the runtime be just slightly longer this time. Got some isopropic alcohol, 70%. Uh, I'm hoping this doesn't kill the paint. I have not tested this. Well, good news and bad news. The paint's fine with it. And the bad news is the masking tape stuff is equally fine with it. It doesn't dissolve it like I was hoping it would. Trying to think of what other solvents I've got around the house. I'm a bit worried about trying the old elbow grease method. Should have used painter's tape. Should have used painter's tape. Uh, 
And let's put the cap back on that alcohol. So, give it a wipe down anyways. If it's not doing much, it's got to be doing, oh. or it could just be making things worse. So now the paper towel is kind of sticking to the masking tape residue. That's fine. Everything's fine. So, I've got a touch-up pen. Allegedly the same color as the spray paint. Now let's hope I'm opening this correctly. This should have a paintbrush in it. So I'm just going to take this and where the paint, the gold stuff has come through. Just going to touch that up a little bit. Kind of hoping it would be an easier process than this, but paint's a bit old, so I only have myself to blame. I'm the one who decided to take like a, a long hiatus on getting this done. To be honest, I'm kind of curious if the plastic resin I've got is still any good. Because I know that stuff does have a shelf life. And I don't think it's supposed to be measured in like decades. Not that it's been decades, but it's been a while. Well, that's helped a little bit. If there's any other particularly egregious spots, I'll put a little paint on them. At least the color matches, so that's a bonus. I think this is almost empty, too. Alright, there was some stuff down here as well. Maybe if I give it another shake. I'm actually not sure what is on this side. I'm worried if I open it, a bunch of paint is going to spill out. Alright. That's a little better.
Sorry if I'm not being super chatty during this process. Just taking a surprising degree of concentration. Because I really don't want to have to then get a gold touch-up thing to go over any mistakes I make touching up with the blue. If I were smart, I would have picked a Space Marine chapter where they're just all one color. But I wanted to go Ultramarine because I like them. They're the first ones I ever played as when I was first introduced to Warhammer, so... All right. That side looks fine. Maybe a little bit more at the top. Texture is going to be a little bit different than where I sprayed it on, but the texture is just kind of interesting in general. Because I could have probably sanded it for several more hours, but I think I'm just going to try pushing on ahead and whatever I happen to actually complete. You know, if I like it, good, and if I don't, I can always just try and rework it. Like I said, I can always paint some plastic on and start from square one if I need to. Well, square one for the hardening process. I mean, these things are getting kind of heavy already. Like, that's a couple of pounds at least, and I'm going to be trying to wear it. But for the time being, I'd say this piece is done or at least as done as I'm going to get it. I want to look into some sort of a clear coat, maybe like I was saying super glue, to give it like a hard, rigid, plasticky coat on the outside. Um, also, this edge here, gluing on some foam or something like that, and then trimming it so it's a bit nicer looking and protected from the rest of the costume. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there, and the next time I try and do something on this, I will show you guys in a new video. See ya!